What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Breakdown. This one goes out to college football fans. And uh, just a little bit on last week, uh, I think I did about four games, and I think I only got about one of them right. So first week was kind of tough on me, but we'll see if I can't do better um, on this on the second week. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into the second week's games. I, I definitely, like I said in my last week, I definitely have more games to uh, to uh, preview here and, and more games to break down and more games to give you a winner on. So the matchups are just going to keep getting better and better from here on out. I mean, the, 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 the more the, the, the longer the week or I said that wrong, the further we get into these weeks, the better the games are going to get. So without further ado, let's get right up started. Thursday night, prime time believe this will be an ESPN game. Not for sure if it's ESPN or ESPN2, but both channels are usually right next to one another on all cable networks, so you guys should be able to find it. Thursday night, Arizona taking on Oklahoma State, who is in the top 10, number 8 or number 9, not for sure. Uh, the rankings just came out, haven't looked at it, but uh, so this game... Uh, well, I think uh, Arizona, they uh, come coming off of a, a nice win over uh, in northern Arizona last week. And Oklahoma State uh, coming off of a win over uh, Louisiana Lafayette. Put up a lot of points in that game, gave up a lot of points. In this game, uh, I think I'll take Air, I think I'll take uh, Oklahoma State. Uh, got Brandon Whedon, Justin Blackman. Um, they've got a couple of other receivers who are who have, who have stepped up in uh, the receiving core probably a little bit better than it was last year. Uh, Arizona, but I do think Arizona will score some points. Uh, Oklahoma State's defense does not impress me, and uh, Nick Foles is probably a lot better quarterback than Louisiana Lafayette's quarterback, and I believe Arizona's got some better athletes than uh, Louisiana Lafayette. So I think Oklahoma State wins, but um, like I said, I expect Arizona to score some points. Game should be interesting, but I think Oklahoma State pulls it out in the fourth quarter. On Friday, another primetime game, ESPN. Missouri at Arizona State. Uh, Missouri uh, was not impressed with them last week. I did watch that game versus Miami of Ohio. Uh, granted, it was the first game, and you know, to everyone's to everyone's respect, we do have to give teams a chance to get better. Because in college, you know, you don't scrimmage or you don't put, you don't play preseason games against other teams. Uh, but Missouri's traveling out to the desert, and they're going to take on Arizona State. And uh, in this game, I think I like Arizona State. Um, Missouri, although we do have to give them a chance to get better, um, this is from you know first week to the second week and you know they're still trying to break in a new quarterback and uh, I think Arizona State's really got a chance to be good this year so I think I'm going to take Arizona State in the game on Friday night over Missouri and let's jump right on into Saturday Mississippi State at Auburn now we all saw the Auburn game last week and I believe I believe that Mississippi State's going to win this is uh, Dan Mullen's third year uh, Mississippi State keeps getting better and better and better each year. I mean, they keep taking another step every year. And we know about Auburn. We saw them last week. Granted, like I said, we do have to give teams a chance to get better, but I don't know how much better Auburn can be from, you know, from the first week to the second week. Maybe a little bit better, but they've lost a lot of uh, talent from last year's team, particularly Cam Newton and... Granted, they, they did get away with it last week. They're really going to be tested here. All, you know That new talent that Auburn's put on the field is really going to be tested here. And I see Auburn losing to Mississippi State. Utah at USC. Utah is now in the Pac-12, and USC uh, is ranked in the top 25. I believe they're ranked 23 or 24 in the new rankings. Could be higher just a little by a little bit. Uh, USC, I did did get a chance to watch them last week, and I can tell you that I, I was only impressed with two players on their team, and that was Matt Barkley and Robert Woods. The rest of the players on their team I was not impressed with. They should have Mark Tyler back for this second game, 
and uh, Utah under Kyle Winningham. They just keep getting better and better each year. And uh, USC, like I said, I mean, Lane Kiffin has a very, very arrogant style of coaching to me. Tries to go for it on for two points early in the game when there's no need for it. Tries to go for it on fourth down when there's no need for it. He tries that against Utah, and they will get beat. And I have Utah beating USC. Uh, I think, uh, like I said, I'm not impressed with USC. And like I said, I was only impressed with two players. And it takes more than two players to beat a team like Utah. And Utah will not be afraid, and Utah will be fired up. So USC better be ready. But I don't know if they're ready enough. I got Utah beating USC. BYU at number 25, Texas. BYU was in a defensive struggle last week versus uh, Ole Miss. Pulled it out right there at the end of the game. And Texas took on, I believe it was Rice. And the game was close throughout the third quarter, but Texas kind of pulled away there in the second half. Uh, This this game for Texas is kind of a measuring stick to see how good they're going to be. Uh, BYU's granted not the best team in the country, but they're a good team to kind of, you know, they're a good team to kind of, you know, to kind of gauge yourself on. And uh, I, I believe Texas has just as good a defense, if not better of a defense than Ole Miss does. And they'll be at home. So I think I'm going to take Texas in this one. Expect the game to be close uh, maybe throughout the first half. That's the way I see it. I, I don't think Gar- not impressed with Garrett Gilbert. Really not impressed with Texas' offense. Uh, I think, like I said, I think Texas has a good defense, and I think their defense is every bit as good, if not better, as than Ole Miss's defense. And so, B, we know BYU struggled versus Ole Miss, and so I think they'll struggle against Texas as well. I think Texas makes a couple of plays offensively to get away with the win. Notre Dame at Michigan. Well. What is there to say about Notre Dame? I mean, they, they, they get hyped by the media every year. Every year, just because their name is Notre Dame, get hyped by the media, and every year they disappoint us. So is, uh, is Brian Kelly the next coach to get fired? I don't know. It's only time will tell. Michigan, Brady Hope. I think, I think Michigan wins this game. Not impressed with Notre Dame at all. And I think... I think Michigan's a lot better team than South Florida. Uh, but, you know, it's all about the matchups. I just don't – Notre Dame, they don't have the athletes. They don't have the premier athletes. Uh, they're Dane Christ. Uh, he's not even starting this game, so they, they've already got trouble there. I'm not saying that Michigan's the greatest team either, but I think Notre Dame's got way too many problems, and Michigan's at home. So I think I'm going to take Michigan – Going to take Shoelace in Michigan in this game uh, versus Notre Dame. Notre Dame's got way too many problems. They don't even know which quarterback they want to start. Um, next game on down the list, Virginia Tech at East Carolina. East Carolina gave South Carolina a scare last week. Virginia Tech won comfortably in their first game last week. Uh, I'm going to take East Carolina in this game. Uh and the reason why I'm going to take East Carolina, because for some reason, there's just been a trend going on. And, and East Carolina is a good team. But last few years, there's been a trend going on. And th- these are the kind of games that Virginia Tech seems to lose. You know, games against good teams who are mid, good, mid, good, some good mid-major teams. And, you know, Virginia Tech is also breaking in a new quarterback. Uh, this year, and you know, East Carolina is a good mid-major, so he'll be tested in that game. And I and I believe East Carolina is at home in the, in this game. I'm gonna take East Carolina in this game. Like I said, Virginia Tech is is that they're the kind of team that they win, 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 but they disappoint you pretty hard when it's time to be disappointed. And so, I think I'm gonna take East Carolina in this game. Like I said, I like I said I was, I was impressed with East Carolina to give South Carolina trouble throughout the first three quarters, but it couldn't hold on. But Virginia Tech is no South Carolina, so we'll see. I got East Carolina. Georgia hosting South Carolina. What is there to say about Georgia, folks? I mean, really. Uh, I mean, 
they say Mark Richter's on the hot seat. I mean, if he's on the hot seat, then that seat's going to be on fire when they lose to South Carolina. Yep, Georgia's going to lose. I picked them last week versus Boise. They struggled to move the ball versus Boise. Now, I'm not taking nothing away from Boise. Boise's got a good defense. But if they struggle to move the ball versus Boise, and they're playing against a more athletic South Carolina team, they're not going to move the ball against them. Sorry, folks, but if you're a Georgia fan, Mark Rick's got to go. I mean, Georgia's been on the decline. Georgia does not have the players that it used to have, not even close to the players that they used to have. And, and yet, rivals and ESPN ranks their recruiting classes in the top ten every year. But I'm just not the talent that I'm seeing is Georgia just doesn't have that talent anymore. South Carolina's got too too many weapons. Uh, Marcus Lattimore uh, was uh, who's the quarterback? Is it uh, Stephen Garcia? I believe South Carolina's quarterback and. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey, the wide receiver, and they've got a host of other weapons. Uh, Jadavian Clown, Clowney, and they've got a couple, of, a couple of other defensive ends who start over him. South Carolina's got too many weapons, too much skill for Georgia. As they say, skills pays the bills. I got South Carolina over Georgia. Georgia just don't have it. And the last game, but definitely not the least game, Alabama in a rematch versus number 23, Penn State. And yes, Alabama is number three now. Penn State's number 23. So Alabama got jumped by LSU. So this is a, this is a game for, L, for Alabama to uh, kind of jump LSU back. In this game, uh, I'm going to take Alabama in this game. Uh, now, their quarterbacks are going to have to do better than throwing two, two, two interceptions apiece. Trent Richardson's going to have to get on track more than, uh, what, 30, 39 yards versus Kent State. It's going to take more than that to beat Penn State. I think this. I think Penn State gives Alabama a little bit of trouble, but I don't think uh, the physicalness of Alabama, they're, they're too nasty down in the trenches, too feisty. I just don't – Penn State doesn't have it. But, like I said, I think Penn State can give them some trouble just, just because of the home crowd. But in the second half, I think Alabama runs away with it. Uh, A.J. McCarron, like I say, he's going to have to do better than throwing two interceptions. And uh, actually, they're both going. If they play both quarterbacks, they're going to have to both do better than throwing two interceptions apiece, or they'll get beat. So, but I got. But my choice is Alabama. So that that does it for this week. Uh, let me know what you guys think on these games. Uh, like I said, I I didn't do too well last week, but that's why I, that's why I like to hear your opinion. Because as you as you guys know, I'm no different than you. I'm not always right. Hopefully, I am. What do you guys think on this on these uh, on these picks this week? Well, I'm out of here.